Maybe it's that really dark spot in a person's past that they would be scared or anxious to revisit since they're now in a better place and more confident. Welcome to the final episode of this series, Why Sleep Token Won't Play This Song Live. Remember, this is the final episode until we get a fourth album. So, we've talked so far about seven songs, only one of them has actually been debuted live. And today we're talking about the eighth, the other song from Take Me Back to Eden, which has not yet been played. It is The Apparition, a beautiful, intense, and kind of underrated song. I've been playing it on repeat lately, I love basically everything about it, the vocals, the drums, the trap, the synth, everything. To me it feels like a break from everything else on the record. It sounds different, like a detour, and I could say the same about the song I talked about last time, Are You Really Okay? So one last time, let's dissect the elements and try to figure out why Sleep Token haven't played The Apparition live. I almost forgot which song I'm talking about. First, the vocals. I cannot ignore the very obvious fact that the vocals on the song are pretty hard. Not only that, some of them are sung in one breath, which makes them even more exhausting. Not to underestimate Vessel, he's a very, very good singer. But what if he'd rather save those vocal cords for other, more popular and more frequently requested songs? So could it be the vocals? Maybe. Let's move on to the guitars. Despite this song having some really beautiful, clean guitar parts, it also has a huge gap where there are no guitars. That's the whole trap part. However, 4 could totally come up with something to fill that gap, and I think he's done that before on stage a couple times, or maybe many times. So could it be the guitars? I would say no. Also, 3 could replicate the electronic bass parts, so no issues here either. Now, here's the element I want to talk about, which is most probably the actual reason behind the band avoiding this song. It's the drums, specifically the trap beat. This is something that I mentioned in an older video titled Things You Did Not Notice on Sleep Token Songs. It was a detail in that beat, a very tiny yet very important detail. So the beat is basically just two measures that loop throughout a third of the song. I'm focusing on the third and fourth beats of the first measure. Listen closely and notice what's happening. This, my friends, is what we call a polyrhythm. But it's not just a polyrhythm, it is a very, very difficult polyrhythm. Polyrhythms can be easy as playing whole notes and then playing half notes on top, simultaneously, of course. But this is on a whole different level. What's happening here is that he's playing 16th note triplets on the hat on top of 16th notes on the kick. That is extremely difficult. And before you tell me, oh no, it's easy, no, anyone can play it, yeah, go ahead and try it, please. And in case you don't understand polyrhythms yet, it's basically playing two or more beats or rhythms simultaneously, but those beats or rhythms are different. To make it very, very simple, remember when we used to do this? It's a lot like that. You're basically doing different things with each limb at the same time. It's like splitting your brain into tiny pieces and letting each one focus on something. And you have to stay on time, you have to be very precise. That's why it's very difficult. But while I'm thinking that the band probably won't play the song because of how difficult this part would be for two to pull live, I'm also afraid that this part might have been programmed. <gasps> or maybe each instrument or each track was recorded separately. So he probably wasn't playing them all together like he usually does. Or maybe he played them all together but he played it only once and then it was looped. Because during his interview with Drumeo, two performed that song but did not play that part. He played a completely different and much easier one, which made me more confident that that part might have been, like I said, either programmed or looped or maybe the instruments were recorded separately. So what if that's the reason why? You tell me in the comments. Now before we end this video, I'm just gonna talk about one more thing. Just one more possible reason, and it's one that I listed in the last video. This song's lyrics mention self-harm. Last time I said that maybe Are You Really Okay was avoided due to that same reason. 
you know, social media promoters and all that stuff. So who knows? Maybe that's it. Or maybe just one of the reasons. What about you? What do you think? Now it's your turn to share your thoughts in the comments because that's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for watching this video and this whole series. If you have been watching this whole series and if you haven't, then go ahead and watch the previous videos. And maybe, just maybe, this series will be brought back when we get, again, like I said, a fourth album. Which I'm very confident that we are gonna get. Can't wait! Thanks again, see you next time, please take care of yourselves and as always, have fun.